A year since the famous Sycamore Gap tree was cut down, saplings from the tree will be planted across the country. A year to the day since the Sycamore Gap tree was cut down, the National Trust is offering communities across the UK the chance to replant saplings rescued from the site. There was an outpouring of anger when the tree, which stood in a dip next to Hadrian's Wall in Northumberland, was attacked with a chainsaw. Now, after nurturing the young twigs and seeds from the site, 49 saplings are being offered. Our reporter Harriet Bradshaw has more. The iconic Sycamore Gap tree. It was shocking, it was devastating, it felt really brutal. But a small team managed to salvage seeds and twigs which they successfully sowed and grafted in a secret greenhouse. This tree has been given a second chance at life. So Chris, the last time I was here, I could hold these seedlings in my hand. What's happened to them? Well, they've grown a little bit. Here they are. Oh, crikey. Look at that. That one's taller than me. And I'm five foot five. Yeah, they've done pretty well. How many have you got? We've got roughly about 100 at the moment. Um, but we've got a few more seedlings coming on as well. And there's about nine or so grafts and budded plants. You can't help but feel hopeful handling new life and seeing the roots here are established. But the question now is, where will their new homes be? The National Trust wants these saplings to be symbols of hope and healing. Each tree will go to a very special place. One of the first will be planted here in memory of 12-year-old Fergus. Hey everybody, it's Fergus from Yardie's Cricket Channel and today we're going to be looking at the sweep shot. Let's go. We're going to start on one knee. Fergus was an absolute delight. Um, it was a joy and a real privilege to be his mum. Fergus was planning a trip to walk Hadrian's Wall, along which the sycamore gap tree was nestled, but he never made it. Yesterday, they gave me some news. I have some sort of cancer in my leg. He was diagnosed with primary bone cancer, osteosarcoma. Your worst fear after your child dies is that he'll be forgotten. Since Fergus died, nature has been a constant source of strength to us, its power to regenerate and to console. Take me to where this tree's going to go then, Ruth. This is the spot we chose. Fergus came here every, every day. There's something about the story of the new life being created from the Sycamore Gap that made me think of all, all the children affected by childhood cancer. They deserve a second chance of life. The original sycamore was 49 feet tall and there will be 49 saplings for communities to apply for. Uh, it's really satisfying seeing how well they've done actually. So it was a little bit touch and go at the beginning. The trees will be going to projects such as this, Tina's Haven in Easington on the Durham coast. Where do we think that the sapling might go then, Eric? Thinking about the entrance, mm. uh, because I think it could be really powerful. And my daughter Tina was absolutely a unique human being. Through her life, although she, she had issues with childhood trauma, um, addiction and, 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 her, and her mental health, she was bold, she was strong, she was beautiful. Sue Robson's daughter, Tina, died in 2020, age 35. Following her death, Sue wanted to create a wild sanctuary, a place of recovery for others dealing with the problems Tina faced. When Tina died, my hope died with her. And equally, when that beautiful tree was cut down, you know, it was a violent, devastating act. But where the parallel came in was about those themes of hope, of nature, of recovery. Having the tree, you know, such a, a significant symbol of hope is, is absolutely massive. To be planted next year, they're being called trees of hope for the people and communities they'll become part of. Harriet Bradshaw, BBC News. 
Well, our correspondent, Alison Freeman, is at the visitor centre near where the tree originally stood. Hi, Alison, and you have something significant there. Yeah, this is it. This is the star of the show, if you like. This is going to be the centrepiece to an exhibition which is celebrating the life of the Sycamore Gap tree. Now, it's part of this huge exhibition which has been created by a group of artists. And it's made up of four panels, each one of them representing the seasons. This is the winter panel here. We have the autumn one that the Sycamore Gap trunk features in because that was the time of year that it was, it was cut down. We travel through to spring and into summer. Now, when you add up the lengths of all of these magnificent wooden panels, that makes up the height of the Sycamore Gap tree. Now, as you were saying, today is about hope, it's about moving forward. And what's happening is this final panel, this summer panel, is made up of a group of leaves. Now, they all look very plain at the moment, but there's been a series of workshops going on throughout today where young people People have been writing on it their pledges to nature, how we can make the world a better place. They're going to be fixed up here, they're going to make a beautiful, brightly coloured display and that will be the centrepiece of this exhibition which starts tomorrow, Lewis.